Uh, a very interesting case, a very common situation, jiu-jitsu uh, last week. We're uh, doing a, a, a surgery to uh, treat a ACL tear and a meniscus tear. So let me show you what we are. Meniscus. But then when I looked way in the back, a little area that looked like with buckles right there. Little buckles. And the tear is actually hard to see, so I did. I went into the back, right here, posterior view. The root of the medial meniscus is right there. The root is okay. Probe, and there's a tear way back there. Right there, it's safe. Uh, most likely within the vascular zone. So I'm going to be doing a medial meniscus repair and an ACL reconstruction today at Restore. Dr. Moore bringing you more cutting edge surgery. Thank you. Dr. Moore here. This is a bone patella tendon bone allograft. That's what we're doing today. Beautiful looking graft. Uh, bone patella tendon bone allograft, which basically means it's a cadaver graft. That's a tendon that has two bone plugs. I'm going to trim them uh, with this little bone trimmer so that it fits the, uh, the tunnels in the knee. Thank you. Finishing up the graft preparation here, um, using a suture to snug up the tendon part of this allograft. That's a tendon part. And the reason that I'm doing this is so that as I pass it through the tunnels in the knee, the tunnels are rough. The walls of the tunnels are rough, so that as a, as a graft passes through those rough tunnels, sometimes it gets snagged and injured or damaged. So what I do is, I keep it nice and tight as it goes in. So this is what I'm doing. I'm doing these half hitches. Okay. And I'm not sure if you can see what's going to happen here. If you can zoom in on that. So I can tighten it up. You see? So once again, I bring the loop around the top. Bring my suture through the center of that loop. And then I put that half hitch like this. And I do this over and over, all along the graft, and then I tie it off at the end. This is uh, graft preparation for an ACL reconstruction using a allo graft. Thank you so much. And then I set my my loops about five millimeters away from each other. Lock it like that, and it seems to snug it up a little nicer. So it makes it into a tube. Some people call it tubularizing the graft. Half hitches all the way down the graft. Graft prep is right here, both the tendon and bone. My loop is already in the knee. This is the loop that is going to pull it in or shuttle it in. See, it's a loop. It was placed earlier. This is really cool what I'm gonna do, I think. I find it interesting. I put these two sutures in there, okay? And then I pull my graft sutures in. Okay, now I don't need the loop anymore. And now I'm going to use these two to pull it into the knee. Here we go. Okay, give it a little help. And now we look at the monitor. The blue dot is almost at the entrance of that femoral tunnel. The graft is right there. I love the position. Right in the middle of the tibial footprint, you can see that down there. It's, gonna, it's already looking really nice. Thank you.
All right, the the uh, instrument that's in here is a tap. It's just like a, a woodworking tap. What I'm doing is I'm tapping the space between the graph and the tunnel so that I could put in a, a threaded type of dowel. That's not this Dr. Morgan. I'm still tapping. I'm doing this very slowly because if I go too fast, if I bully this tap in, what might happen is instead of the tap cutting threads uh, on the bone, it might just push my graft and it might actually fracture the bone. Anyone that's done woodworking understands, so uh, should understand what's happening here. So I'm going really slow, and I'm actually going back and forth because if I create a fracture here, it would create a huge problem for the, this patient's uh, surgery. So we take it nice and slow. There's no rush here, especially in this part. Uh, there are many areas with a, a BACL procedure that you have to be a little extra careful because you can uh, cause problems and this is one of those. So just taking it nice and easy. Once my tapping is done, then I'll put in my screw. Thank you. Okay, I'm using a uh, Stryker Bio, bio Spion uh, um, interference screw. So it's basically a, like a threaded dowel, okay? And as you can see, I actually don't like to touch my implant before I put it in. I got new gloves on as well, just to decrease the risk of infection. my screw in there, making sure I got the right angle. Okay, protecting my graph with that little protector right there. There's a graph, it looks beautiful. And now I'll put in the screw, so that the screw that will hold the graph up against the bony tunnel, compressing it, and over time, it will heal, it, it will heal uh, into the bone, and the screw will disappear. Thank you. So the next step would be to lock it into the tibia, but before I do that, I need to finish my meniscus repair, which I haven't done yet. Thank you. Bob composite screw, this little thin little wire is going to die. What I want you to see here is, this is a, a clamp that's holding on to my graft, and some people ask me, why do I use a little wire here to pull my graft? Because sometimes it can get damaged by the screw, or this wire, or this uh, area can get damaged with the tap, and if, uh, and if you're using a suture to pull, uh, then you will you may cut through your suture. So I do use a little wire, which I'll take out later. Okay. So once again, uh, putting in my distal screw, putting in, putting the leg in the right position, putting it a little closer to your drawer force, 30 degree flexion, and locking it in. Thank you so much. All right, that's more here. Sorry, showing you the final ACL allograft. There it is, ACL allograft. Fixated in the femur with that screw that I showed you, fixated in the tibia right there, right in the middle of the natural ACL footprint. And then I did a medial meniscus repair, very, uh, a very common type of case in, in fighters and, uh, and athletes. ACL reconstruction looks absolutely gorgeous. The last final check of this uh, at, on the surgery is this. Make sure that there's no impingement. And, if, and just for your information, I did not take any bone off this, off this notch. And there it is, full extension, zero impingement and full flexion with no issues. Just wanted to show you uh, the importance of uh, tunnel position to avoid impingement. Thank you. I uh, hope this, this video helps uh, you understand what ACL surgery is all about. You guys take care. Thank you so much. Jeff, I got Kenny here. Kenny's about a month and a half out from ACL reconstruction. Showing the video, uh, the reconstruction here. Uh, Kenny, thank you so much for letting people look at your sexy knee over here. But more importantly, what I really wanted to show them was how good your knee is doing. How does it feel after ACL and meniscus repair? You doing okay? Excellent, yeah. Good, awesome. So um, Kenny's been working out. He's been doing the ACL recovery. I'm checking the knee right now. He's got a little bit of atrophy. He still has a little bit of swelling. Mind you, he's only a month and a half out from surgery, okay? He's got a solid ACL. That feels really good, real solid there. He has near full extension. He's still working on getting that a little better. Look at that. Looks gorgeous. And he's still working on flexion. He doesn't have full flexion yet because I don't want him to have full flexion because of the meniscus repair. But overall, he's doing great. And uh, I just wanted to say that it's not an easy um, a surgery. It's not an easy recovery. It takes a lot of work. He's been working real hard, uh, not only working on his rehab, but also on his diet. He's actually been taking his own, his own, uh, this is his company. He actually has this uh, company called The Flavor for the People. I'm actually just uh, showing that there for fun. Actually, what's more important is actually the, the rehab, and he's been doing great. I just wanted to say that in order to have a great result, you have to work really hard. It was a it's very been... smooth process. I was expecting, you know, the recovery actually was not as, it was that 
Good, good, good. 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 Well, we also did some special thing. We did a, a special nerve block, a long acting nerve block. I do a special technique to decrease pain after surgery, and that way people can have uh, an easier recovery. And, and when everything comes out right, this is what it looks like. It's just the start. So I'm looking forward to him going to the next step. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate Thank you. you very much. You take care. Thank you. Over now, if you guys have any questions about uh, ACL reconstruction, reach out. I take care of a lot of athletes, MMA, as well as soccer players, just like that. You guys take care. Thank you. Thank you. Let's do it, man. Thank you so much for